Hey everyone. Uh, well, I have my new microscope LED ring. So I'm going to do a quick review um, and hopefully it is better than the current one. So this is straight off AliExpress. Uh, it is uh, a number of different brand stickers get put on it, but they all look the same. And uh, this is 144 LEDs. Now the one that I've got now is uh, uh, white in colour. And uh, it's only 56 LEDs, I believe. So it should be a lot brighter. Especially when you zoom in, which is a problem I've been having. Um, it goes quite dark as you zoom right in. So let's uh, fit it up. It's got a nice rubber coated uh, knob there and uh, power switch and input jack so uh, we'll fit it up and I'll show you some before and after shots so this is the one that I've got on it currently it's uh, it's got a, a like a variable brightness control sticking out the side a bit um, power switch and DC in jack and underneath you can sort of see the circuitry inside there so yeah uh. okay so let's have a look at this randomly selected uh, board I might grab a uh, iPhone board too or one of the darker silk screen boards and we'll compare that as well this is at uh, what have we got there Okay, so it's about three and a half times zoom, fully zoomed out with the half Barlow lens. And uh, I wonder if I should turn the workbench light off just so you get the light ring alone. Mm, I'll, do it, I'll do it with and without. So this is with the... Uh, uh, I'll start without. So this is just the light ring and I don't know how well it's going to show the difference between the two because of um, exposure settings and whatnot might be able to find a manual exposure perhaps no my camera is too cheap so this is just the ring light with no workbench lighting and this is the uh, lower count LED so the, the dimmer one okay so now what we'll do is start zooming in on that and uh, we'll take notice of uh, when it starts to darken. So we're about eight times there, and it doesn't look too bad. So now we're about 15 times, and it has gotten darker for sure. Can we read the number on that resistor? If I go right in, it is covered in flux, it doesn't help. <laughs> but that's right in at uh, uh, 20, about 23 times zoom, and uh, pretty dark looking. Now I'll add the workbench light. Well, that made uh, quite a difference there. But still pretty dark for a video uh, recording of what you're trying to work on. Especially if you were trying to use the uh, screen as your viewing uh, object rather than the eyepieces. So now let's zoom out and uh, switch the rings over and see what we come up with. What I've just noticed when fitting the new one to the microscope is this ring here. On this model, when it's fixed onto the microscope, you can rotate the whole unit nice and smoothly. Now the benefit of that is that it gets around and you can access the uh, brightness control. Now I presume that this one, you can't do that. 
you screw it on and it's fixed in position. But that's not so big a deal that you can't rotate it because on, on that one the uh, DC in goes on the end and you've got a switch on the side and a brightness on the side so it can stay in one spot so that's not too big a deal really. Just interesting to note how different ways they make it. So that is with no workbench lighting and just the new LED ring at uh, full brightness. So that's it. Uh full brightness and already through the eyepiece at least I can see a huge difference so now we'll start zooming in so there we're at uh, about eight times That's at uh, 15 times. And that's uh, full zoom with the current Barlow lens of 20, about 22 times. So, yeah. It's definitely a lot brighter to work with. Now I'll add the uh, workbench light. And that made a little difference, but definitely the direct ring lighting uh, is, is a lot brighter to work with at, uh, at full zoom. So hopefully the extra light, especially out at the um, at the wider zoom ang uh, distances um, will actually be a lot less fatiguing on the eyes not that I had too much issue with uh, being out of focus and whatnot but it certainly is a lot clearer it just feels nicer to look at and there's a shot fully zoomed in on a uh, uh, iPad mini board and uh, clearly see all the traces that's going to be really easy to work on if I turn the brightness down that is close to halfway and that would be about what my old ring would have uh, provided possibly even worse being half as many LEDs sounds good to me but if we turn that right up, major difference. So that's the uh, 144 LED light ring for microscope, model uh, MIC-209. And um, of all the ones I looked at, they all look the same with just different stickers on them really, so uh, I don't think you'd be too far wrong to to grab any one as long as it had that sort of LED count but well worth it um, didn't cost a huge amount and uh, I am using the um, DC supply that it came with although I'm not a big fan because it's got the uh, Chinese travel adapter um, to make it plug into my socket but uh, I might just cut the plug off the end and and use it off my bench supply the way I have been uh, we'll see. I might try and incorporate it in using its own one because sometimes it's nice to have the bench supply free uh, and be able to have a light on. So thanks for watching. I um, hope that helps with your decision making and whether you need to purchase a, a better ring light or even before you buy one. You know, look around and uh, spend a little bit more to get the extra LEDs. I think it's going to be really worth it. Thanks for watching.